Beatles. Sweeping down upon the underworld to smash gangland comes the mysterious, all-powerful character who is a problem to the police, but a crusader for law. In reality, Dan Garrett, a rookie patrolman, loved by everyone, but suspected by none of being the Blue Beetle. As the Blue Beetle, he hides behind a strange mask and a suit of impenetrable blue chain armor, flexible as silk, but stronger than steel. entitled Death Rides on Horseback. A mysterious masked rider has been waging a one-man war on the city's police department. Several policemen have been shot down, murdered in cold blood by this fiend on horseback. Every man on the force has sworn vengeance against this mysterious killer. Patrolmen in pairs patrol their beats, but always the killer marks his victim, shoots him down, and gallops away to a secret hiding place in the vast wilderness of the city park. Can no one track him down? Is there no one to put an end to this one man, Blitzkrieg? What is his motive? As our story opens, patrolman Dan Garrett, who is also the Blue Beetle, is with his friend and advisor, Dr. Franz, in his apothecary shop. Danny, what are you going to do? I'm going to get that killer if it's the last thing I do. Uh, Be careful, Danny. You know this mysterious killer shoots policemen on sight. I know that. But he'll have to be pretty quick on the draw to beat Mannigan and me. Uh, feel easier about you if you were dressed in your blue chain armor of impenetrable steel. Well, so would I, but first I've got to meet this mysterious horseman in the uniform of a police officer. Mannigan and I are going to take a little jaunt through the park in a patrol car. Well, you know best, Danny, but be careful. I will, Doc. Well, I've got to be moving along. I'm meeting Mannigan at headquarters at 10 o'clock. Nearly that now. So long, Doc. I'll see you later. see it, Danny. This mysterious killer may be the Blue Beetle. What makes you think that? I don't know. It's sort of a hunch I have. But the Blue Beetle has never been a killer, at least not of the forces of law and order. Yeah, that's true, but still he's always working undercover. He, he may not be the killer, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn he is in cahoots with him. Ah, you've got the Blue Beetle on the brain. Ah, maybe so, maybe so, but... Someday I'm going to land that baby and... Hey, 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 what's that stoplight ahead? It's changing. Okay. Uh, Danny, will you see if you can find me keys on the floor there? Mm -hmm. I I think they slipped out of my pocket when I got in the car. Okay. No, I don't see anything. All right, copper. It's your turn, Nick. Oh, you got me, Danny. The killer... Where, Mannigan? In the neck and shoulder. I didn't have time to draw my gun. I wasn't even looking. Those keys of yours. Yes, yes, I know, Danny. Here. Here, move over this way. Let me slip under the wheel. Where are you going? I'm going to drive you to the hospital first, and then I... No, no, I'm not hurt by it. Let's get after that baby that just winged me. Well, uh, are you sure you can hold out? Sure I can. Well, okay, then. Here we go. the two policemen spied him galloping across the great lawn and around the reservoir. But each time they tried to cut him off, he changed direction and finally disappeared. Late that night at the little apothecary shop. Dr. Friend. Hey, Dr. Friend, where are you? Oh, hello, Danny. Well, what's up? I just ran into the killer and... Uh, you're not hurt? No, he got Mannigan, though. Dead? No, nothing serious. They said at the hospital. Flesh wound, that's all. Well, how did it happen? Well, we stopped for the traffic lights in the park. I was looking for Mannigan's keys on the floor of the car when suddenly the killer appeared out of nowhere, started firing, and then dashed away in his horse. We gave chase but lost him in the woods. Well, what are you going to do now? The blue beetle is going to nip this killer and nip him good. Your chain armor and mask is in the back room there. I rather expected you'd be needing them tonight. Thanks, Doc. And is my equipment in that secret place in my belt? Yes. Everything is complete. Fine. I borrowed a horse from the stables of the modded squad when no one was looking. He's outside now. As soon as I get into my blue beetle armor, there'll be another mysterious horseman in the park. But this one will ride as an avenging angel. Danny, 
Will the Blue Beetle catch the mysterious killer on horseback? What will happen when these two horsemen meet? Can Dan Garrett as the Blue Beetle avenge the death of his brother officers on the police force? Let's look in on the editorial rooms of the York City Chronicle. Hello? Hello? Yeah, this is the Chronicle. Okay, give it to me over the phone. Charlie, I'm worried yeah. about Joan Mason. Yeah. He's out on this mysterious killer case. Yeah. Huh? I didn't assign her to it. In fact, I tried to discourage her, but she insisted she was tired of writing about gardens and babies and society chit chat. Said she craved action. You'll get action if she runs into the killer. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I've got a couple of our men tracking her just in case. He's got the tough reporters I'm made of, or I don't know anything about her. Uh, I guess you're right. Train speaking. What? What? No sign of her since she what? Say, I told you not to let her out of your sight. I don't care what happened. Get back there and find that Mason girl and bring her in with you, or don't come back. What's up? That was one of the men I sent to trade Joe. He says he saw her disappear behind some bushes at the foot of a cliff in the wildest part of the park. And when he got up to that point, there was no one in sight. Just then he heard hoofbeats approaching. He hid and saw a horseman dash by him, and he... What do you make of him? I don't know. But I'm going to call the commissioner and give him this information. We've got to find that girl. What has happened to Joan Mason? Who was the mysterious horseman Editor Crane mentioned? Was it the fiendish killer? Or was it the Blue Beetle? In the still of the night, a lone horseman steals along one of the park's many bridle paths. Suddenly, he draws rein. I wonder who that is ahead there, silhouetted against the sky. It may be a mounted officer, or it may be he's moving off down toward that traffic light on the highway. Let's go, Bright Star. Pull up there. You can't escape me. Empty your gun. You can't injure the Blue Beetle. Oh, it's a Blue Beetle. Try and catch me. I'm gaining on him. Now for a leap to his back. There. All right, killer. I've got you. Pull up or I'll choke the life out of you. I can't stop this boss. He's running away. Give me those reins. It's no use. You can't stop him now. And I'll turn him. He's heading right for that cliff. Here. We're both with you. Let it off. Not yet. I've got you and I'm not going to leave you. If you want to die, all right. Did the Blue Beetle, riding behind the killer on the killer's horse, ride to his death against the side of the rugged cliff? In a cavernous hall, a masked figure stands over the prostrate form of the Blue Beetle. Mm. At last, I have the pleasure of entertaining the Blue Beetle in my secret hideout. What happened? Where am I? You're in a subterranean hideout. My trained horse stopped short as we entered, and you flew over his head and landed on yours. But... but the rock wall... <laughs> it opened to receive us. There's a secret entrance controlled by photoelectric cells set up high in two trees outside. Only a tall person on horseback passing between that can break the circuit which opens the secret entrance. Very ingenious. And now... No, I wish to talk with you. That's why I have you there in that cell. Why I led you into this rest house. Rest house? Yes. The Blue Beetle has been so active recently that we feel he should have a rest. Perhaps a permanent rest. Yes, I see. You say we. Then you are not in this alone. By no means. I'm only an agent. A special agent of a very powerful political ring who wished to discredit the present commissioner of police and put in their own. You think that murdering a policeman in cold blood, as you have done, will discredit him? Listen. Cops killed my brother. I hate cops. If you were a cop, I'd have shot you down like a dog. You're insane. No, ambition. Or what? Power. What can you hope to gain by murdering policemen? Cops are a dollar a dozen. They'll never be missed. But if we can make the citizens lose confidence in the present administration, we can put our own men in command of the city. You'll never put it over. Oh, stop us. 
The Blue Beetle. What? <laughs> From where you are in that cell? Don't make me laugh. Listen. You think you're smart because you cleaned up a few so-called big shots. You never even got near the top. Why, when I'm commissioner of police... You? Yes, me. The political power I represent has promised me the job. There's only one person standing in my way. Who? You. I'd have put you out of the way long ago. But Scarletti... Uh, so, I mean... No, it's Scarletti that's behind all this. Yes. Yeah. I don't think for a minute you'll ever have a chance to spill the beans unless you agree to come in with us. You'll end your career in this little cell. The chief admires you and can use you. He wants you to be on our side. He wants you to, to lay off his friends. Now, there's plenty of dough in it for all of us, and you'll get yours. I don't think you can agree to work with us and then double-cross us. We'll be wise to any trick you try to pull. I, I see. When does Scarletti want his answer? Mm, take your time. There's no hurry. Take a week to rest up here. You've been pretty active recently. You need the rest. Of course, there's, uh, there's no food here, no drinking water. Unless I open this valve to the park reservoir and flood your cell. Hmm. But what's a little thing like that to the blue people? The answer is no. Go ahead, do your worst. Tell Scarletti that I say there's not enough money in the United States Mint to buy the blue beetle. I'll get Scarletti and others like him. No matter how high I have to fly. All right. I'll take your message to Scarletti, but when I return, you won't be alive to hear his answer. Now, let's see you swim out of this, Mr. Blue Beetle. What will happen to the Blue Beetle now? Can he escape from this subterranean prison before the water reaches the level of his mouth? What has become of Joan Mason, the girl reporter who vanished just outside the secret hideout? Uh -huh.